What's going on guys? Afflicted Gamer here back with another division video. So it is Friday, May 19th, which means the vendors have reset. I will go from safe house to safe house, the easy checkpoint to checkpoint, to find out what the best items are for sale this week in the division. So if the video is helpful, please go ahead and drop it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel for more division content, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Afflicted Gamer. The stream times for me to be live here on YouTube are at the end of the video. Now, starting off down at the hub, all of my characters have all of the blueprints unless there is something new, so please double check just this one spot in particular. That's it. Uh, because I always get the question, don't you have another character that you can switch to? Because, you know, I saw this at the hub. No, guys, I I've bought everything. As you can see, I've got 4,930 credits. Yeah, so unless there's something new here, I already have everything across all three characters. But anyways, the hub, blueprints, we've got firearms, knee pads, a holster, heavy magazine spring, quick release mag, nothing at all. Unless there is something here that I don't have, so double check. Let's go to the exotics. Let's see what's over here this week. Let's hope that just before the update next week, we'll get some decent stuff. Alright, the Historian, 164% headshot damage with Unforgiving, Proficient, and History Repeats. That's actually pretty good. You can get rid of Proficient for something else. Cassidy, 304 Stagger, Competent, Responsive, Boomstick. Don't really care for the Cassidy, but some do. Pecan, 14% damage, two targets out of cover with Self-Preserved, Adept, and Pecan. Not terrible for a skill build with that Adept in there. Liberator, 18% enemy armor damage. Unforgiving, commanding, and meticulous. Uh, I don't know if I would. I would think I would pass this week, to be honest. Centurion, expert, intense. I've got a 93R. These drop everywhere. I wouldn't bother. Og, commanding, determined, brutal. Nope. I'm gonna scroll over these weapons and the gear quickly. But like I say every week, guys, gear drops left, right, and center in the division. So unless there's a piece that you absolutely need, you know what, uh, or the credits to burn, I would just wait until you open it out of a sealed cache instead of buying it here unless it's 100% god roll and it's exactly what you need. And so far, I haven't seen anything. Skill power, electronic mod, not bad, I guess. And that's it for down here. All right, let's I move on. You another time. Okay, upstairs at the armory, there's a few pretty decent items here. There is an enhanced AUG A3P, 21% crit hit chance, commanding, brutal, responsive. I am pointing this out because you can reroll commanding off for something else like deadly or destructive, and then you'd have, say, destructive, brutal, responsive, deadly, brutal, responsive, whatever the case is that you want on this AUG, not too bad. There's also a Model 700, now it's not the tactical or anything like that, but cool-headed, vicious, and elevated, anybody running a skill build, you can pick this up, get rid of vicious for something else. And an extended mag with, even though it's not the greatest and everything will change next week, but if you don't have a blueprint, you're new to the division, 109.5% mag size, 4% crit hit damage, and 4.7 rate of fire. It's not terrible. At the cavern safe house in the garment district, he has a specialized backpack for sale, which is actually pretty good. 1209 firearms, could be a little bit higher, but... Over 13,000 health with burn resistance. So you could either take off burn resistance for ammo capacity if you have enough firearms already, or bump up the firearms number, switch it to another slot, whatever the case is, and leave the burn resistance on there. So either way, it's a good specialized backpack. If you don't have one, I recommend that you actually do pick this up. All right, over at the Dante's Run Safe House, for those of you that do not have a stamina uh, blueprint, there is one here, 261 stamina with over 3,000 skill power. This is a pretty damn good stamina mod, so if you don't already have one or you have the blueprint and you have bad luck with crafting like myself, I would do this. Pick one on up. Come back another time. Up at the Wolves Den safe house, I realized it is not the most popular of assault rifles. However, this tactical ACR has 23% enemy armor damage, 
unforgiving, responsive, and meticulous. Given that meticulous is in the free slot, you can reroll that for anything else at all, and you'd have a responsive, unforgiving, brutal, deadly, destructive, whatever the case may be, tactical ACR. You have a pretty decent assault rifle. Sorry you didn't see me. Up at the Crypt Safe House, he has a tactical SASG-12 with 323% stagger, deadly, sustained, and destructive. Obviously, you can get rid of sustained if you want to. It's helpful in PvE. That's all I'm going to say. It's not a bad talent. But you could go destructive, brutal, and deadly on this. Unforgiving, prepared, whatever it is you so choose to. And it's not the greatest, but there's also a loud vent break with 18% critted damage, 4.5% optimal range, and 6% headshot damage. Obviously, you'd want crit chance instead of optimal range, but some people will actually put this on their weapons. So I figured I'd point it out since I'm here anyways. But the shotgun is the highlight at the crypt. Over at the firewall safe house, he has two items that are pretty decent. First up is a reckless chest piece, 1120 stamina. That part is horrible, but there is over 15,000 health with ammo capacity and all resistance. So you have the choice, leave stamina where it is or change that for something else, roll it higher or get rid of all resistance. Choice is up to you. On top of that, a prototype firearms mod, 246 firearms. It's kind of middle tier, but over 3,000 skill power. So if you're looking to get that extra skill power and a little bit of extra firearms, this mod is here. And if you don't have the blueprint, that's always helpful. I'm sure I'll see you again. Okay, moving into the dark zone at West 31st Street, she has a pretty good extended magazine. Now, these are going to change in patch 1.6.1, but for now, if you really, really need one, 110.5% mag size, 3% crit hit chance, and 4% critical hit damage. Over at the West 39th Street DZ checkpoint, he has a pretty good firearms mod, 255 firearms with 3,269 health. Pretty good mod. At the East 34th Street DZ checkpoint, he has a classic AK-47 with 22% enemy armor damage, destructive, prepared, and responsive armor on it. Pretty good classic AK-47 for sure, so if you like this style of auto rifle, I would pick that up. You're dead. At the East 53rd Street DZ checkpoint, she has a pretty decent enduring mask, 1258 stamina, 9% EDR with kill XP on it. If you're a solo player, and if you don't like the changes that are going to happen to Nimble when patch 1.6.1 gets here next week, you might want to take a look at Enduring. That might be a suitable choice to Stop replace wasting Nimble. My time. Okay, and for our final stop of the week, we are up at the DZ09 safe house. Sadly, this was not the greatest week in the division, but a little it's bit better me. than last week, in my opinion, especially for new players that have come to the game. There are a few items that I've recommended that you may want to pick up. So anyways, regardless, again, I hope that the video was helpful. If it was, please drop a like on it. Consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. Follow me on Twitter, at AfflictedGamer, and the timestamps for all of the items that I've mentioned will be in the description. So these are the final pieces for sale. I figured I would just show them to you. The Banshee pieces aren't, uh, they're not too bad, but like I said, these things drop everywhere. But that is it for Mom, this week. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Get the items that you need, and I will see you very soon in the next video.